there and I sleep. But them said, bless you, Lord, they make it, innit? So I was there. Bad man, bumbo, all them weak. Sling us up to the time. You know it's cartel representing for sleek dancehall. Member say I want sleek. A member blessed are the meek. Sleek told you that the comet is coming. Boom, boss. I'm out. Are you wanna know? Some man are war with themselves, you know. Some man think them are war with me. So it's like, it's like you feel an answer about you. And you go, son, you just continue the conversation. Just kill a mosquito and we are talk same way. But the mosquito will <laughs> think him of the something. Because I irritate. Yes, I irritate, no man. You know, you know what I mean? I think about it. If you ain't in my league, you can't warn me. No nation, we at it again once more with another dance hall update. And to the people, we are going to talk about Vibes Cartel Freedom Street concert and the list of rules from the promoters. Yeah, but before we get into that, people, remember to like the video, turn on your post notification so you can be notified when we drop new updates a while ago in the initial stages of the video on you hear a audio snippet with vibes cartel basically i explain how to say listen me hey if you know if you know in my league you know can't war me and i'm not here to speak on the audio snippet you don't know me that to make the world know what i go and make the world hear that you see me i say the man uh, pay some of them no mind the man not even a focus on them the man just a deal with theme thing you know what i mean so the man just make them know say listen me if you know in my league Oh no, go war me. Oh no, go clash me. Oh no, go one side, man. You see me? So, that's that. And he addressed that clearly. And me say, me have to put this in the video for everybody here who are going. Oh no, no, oh sleep dancers there already. Me make everybody know who are going. You see me? I say, so yeah, that's that. Anyways, I have a few other video clippings. You see me? I say, of an interview with Vibes Cartel being asked a few questions of how him and Joe make the linkage and stuff like that. So, I'm going to play that little interview and then we'll follow back and talk about it. And then, we're going to move on to the promoter's list of rules. Yes, I'm say, people. So, without further ado, we'll jump into it right now. What has this journey been like for you, transitioning from incarceration to headlining this major event that belongs to you? And as I said, you know, I'm still a process the feeling surrounding the elation, the joy, you know what I mean? If you know, say, literally a month and a half ago, I was in a prison cell. And literally a few weeks ago, I just jumped off a private jet, gone back to one next country, down south, I planned the biggest concert in Jamaica. And indeed, the Caribbean. It's a, it's a feeling that I can't even process it, it's too big. How has your time away influenced your approach to music and your performance style? Well, to be honest, I don't know how it affects my performance style because I'm not perform yet. Mm -hmm. But just imagine you eat for 13 years and then just let you go up on a buffet. You know what I mean? Yeah, we can't get an analogy there. Trust me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm right. You talk about your partnership with Downtown Entertainment and how they've helped bring this vision to life. I mean, they've helped bring the vision to life because they actually approached me and said, What's your teacher? You know how we do it, we do it big, and we know how you do it, you do it big. So this is the best collaboration since Bun and Cheese, you know what I mean? Since Aki and Selfish. So, down so on. Oh, I tell people even in our interviews and posts, nobody else could keep this show. The first show, Cartel Return, nobody else could keep it. Joe, you know what I mean? Scatter, TJ, the whole team, you know what I mean? Even you, because you know you the pant up a thing same way. No Nation is just a small video. You see me, I say, you don't know, you see what I go on, you don't hear what I go on. So watch this now. So basically, the G, I say, him still a processing freedom. You see me, I say, he's still processing it, still up to this day. And you can't blame him. He's, he has been away for what, 12 and a half, 13 years? Yeah, so he's still processing his freedom. A month ago, he was in a cell. And then a few weeks ago, he was on a jet plane and then... After that, he was in the next country. So you see the bag of movements for Vibes Cartel. Whole heap of movements. So he's still processing his freedom. He then went on to state that, hey, only Joe could keep the show. And to be honest, that's a fact. Joe Bogdanovich and Skeeter Burrell are promoters for one of the biggest festival in the Caribbean, which is Reggae Some Fest. And Reggae Some Fest is a annual thing now remember it was johnny guzam who was the promoter for it 
and Joe came in as a partner and decided that, hey, why not take over? Why not just, you see me, I say, control this whole thing. And Johnny goes and say, hey, why not? And you don't know Joe having money, so Joe I go go so boom and make him money talk for him, you understand? And the same thing him do with Vibes Cartel. Really and truly, me not think no promoter could I really pay Vibes Cartel at this moment. Only Joe, because Joe having money in a bro. Joe having money. Yes, when I say so, I just saw the link forward in, and basically he said that they, Down Sound Records, they approached him. You know what I mean? And they basically stated to him that, listen me, with us Down Sound Entertainment, right? And Vibes Cartel in partnership, this show will be historic. You know what I mean? Just name your price, and we'll pay that money. And after that, just leave everything to us. Cause you know how down sound entertainment got to work already. So basically at that, them set of Vibes Cartel. And Vibes Cartel over the years, he has seen, you see me, I say, the reggae some fest, um, events held annually since he has been incarcerated. He might watch it and he might see the whole, you know, set up and the whole ambience and the whole vibe of reggae some fest. And him see that, hey, Joe Bogdanovich know what he's doing. So, why not just partner with him? So I think that was a great move. Partnering with Down Sound Entertainment, Joe Bogdanovich and Scatter Burrell, a man who was so experienced in the business and has worked with Vibes Cartel in his earlier um stages of his career. So them have an understanding and them know each other like that. You understand? So you don't know. I think it was the perfect, perfect partnership. Vibes Cartel and Down Sound Entertainment. You see me? So big up Cartel for me. That big move there and big up Joe for approach Vibes Cartel for, you see me I say, keep one of the most historic concert in the history of Jamaica. Well, anyways, people, we're moving on to the list of rules from the promotion team, which is done so on entertainment. You see me I say, them have a list of rules for the spectators. So, me go make you see what I go on right about now. So, here goes. What you need to know about Downtown Entertainment in association with Vibes Cartel? Freedom Street. Tickets are now in stores across the island. There will be no tickets sold at the gate. No ticket will mean no entry within the event perimeter. Absolutely no weapons will be allowed near or within the perimeter. No chairs will be allowed. The media accreditation link will be opened on October 10th and limited spaces will be available. The vendor accreditation link will be opened on October 20th. Limited space availability. Redemption info will be shared on November 1st. Park and ride info will be shared on November 10th. Press conference date will be announced October 14th. No horns will be allowed. Gates open at 4 p.m. The road to Freedom Street pop-up events will begin in November. Schedule will be shared October 25th. For more updates, please stay locked into the Down Sound Entertainment and Vibes Cartel Instagram pages. Now, Nation, that was the list of rules from the promotion team, Down Sound Entertainment. You understand? I have nothing to say about the rules, neither the ticket. Yes, what I mean? I say, if you do not have the amount of money to purchase the ticket, stay home. If you cannot abide by the rules, stay home. You understand? As long as you can purchase the ticket and abide by the rules, you don't do nothing. You see me I say, ah, full jar on yourself. Go watch Vibes Cartel perform for the first time in 13 years. You see me I say? And watch what I go on to. Um, when it comes on to the tickets, me are a whole heap of people. I say, the ticket them, the ticket them, the ticket them. Yo, bro, as I said before, if you cannot afford the tickets, stay home, people. Stay home. And to be honest, me not really see nothing wrong with the rules them. I don't see anything wrong with the rules. Um, but yes, I mean, I said, don't sound entertainment. No, or Jamaican people still already. So them I put out a listing of rules from early out. You can't ever blame them for do that. You understand? Yo, people, this event is going to be a historical event. Trust and believe me. Trust and believe me, Gaza Nation. Well, Nation, you know, see and you know, hear what I go on with the list of rules from the promotion team, which is done so on entertainment. So I think my job here is finished. So with that being said, and this is where I'm going to end the update. Hope you guys enjoyed it to the fullest. If you have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Like up the video, share up the video, same thing with the playlist. And don't forget to watch the ads people seen. So, until the next time and the next topic. I'm out.